Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to solve the linear equation by using Kramer's rule. So we have a question you can see here. X is in denominator, Y is in denominator. This one is a little bit different type of question. So uh, look at properly here. We have to write down coefficient of X is in denominator. So we have to write here 1 by X. Similarly, Y also is in denominator. So we have to write coefficient of 1 by Y. And here at last, we have to write down constant number. Related with Kramer's rule, I was already uploaded 5, 6 videos. You can watch it. Now, what is the coefficient of 1 by x? Here 7. So 7, we have to take only number. Here coefficient of 1 by y, numerical. Coefficient of 1 by y means number we have to look at. 3, so we have to write 3. And we have to take with sign. If negative, we have to write negative. If positive, then doesn't matter. And here constant number 67. So we have to write here 67. Here, what is the coefficient of 1 by x? 4, so we have to write down 4. Here 5, so we have to write here 5. And similarly, here constant number is 58. So 58. After this, we have to find odd d d1 d2 then we have to find out the value of x and y d to find out d we have to take coefficient of 1 by x and coefficient of 1 by y so here 7 4 3 and 5 let's multiply the main diagonal 5 7 is 35 so we have to write here 35 minus this to multiply 4 3 is 12 is equal to 12 35 minus 12 when you subtract we get here 23 similarly we have to find out d1 to find out d1 what we have to take we have to take constant number and coefficient of 1 by y so constant number here uh, 67 and here 58 and this side 3 and 5 we have to write down let's multiply this one 67 into 5 we get 335 minus 58 into 3 8 3 are 24 4, 1, 74, 5, 15, 16, 17, yes. Uh, so let's subtract this and we get here 161. Similarly, we have to find out D2. To find out D2, we have to take uh, coefficient of 1 by uh, x and constant number. With this two we have to take. So here we have to write down 7, 4 and 67, 58. Let's multiply this to um, 7 into 58. 7 is a 56, 6, 5, 35 and 5 40 so 406 minus this to multiply 67 into 4 send for the 28 8 2 24 25 26 so 268 and when you subtract we get here 138 hope you understand up to here now we have to use Kramer's rule and we have to find out the value of x and y so what we have to write here using Kramer's rule so we have to find 1 by x is equal to d1 by d why to write 1 by x because here coefficient of 1 by x we found here coefficient of 1 by y we can found here so we have to write 1 by x and 1 by y 1 by y is equal to d2 by d by late also because we can late also 1 by x is equal to p then no need to do directly you can write here p and after that again we have to put the value of p so better write down 1 by x 1 by y y to late 1 by x is equal to d1 what is the value of d1 161 by d what is the value of d 23 23 can we reduce this yes um, by by 7 we can reduce 7 3 is a 21 7 is a 14 and 3 16 yes 7 by 7 so 1 by x is equal to 7 let's cross multiply therefore x is equal to we have 1 by 7 is the answer okay so x is equal to 1 by 7 we got similarly 1 by y is equal to d2 d2 is equal to here we have 138 by d value of d is equal to we have 23 can we reduce this by 6 3 is a 18 6 to 12 1 13 yeah by 6 we can do by 6 6 3 is a 18 8 1 remaining and 6 to 12 1 13 so 1 by y is equal to 6 uh, therefore y is equal to 1 by 6 is the answer cross multiply this will go here and 6 will come downside okay cross multiply here x will go in 7 place and 7 will come down so 1 by 7 and 1 by 6 is the answer hope you understand this video related with Kramer's rule taken from class 12 business mathematics this very important for class 12 uh, NCRT students as well as class 10 SE students thanks for watching till last keep supporting and keep sharing with your friends